If you're a language teacher or a language student, I really think you're gonna find this video interesting. I'm gonna show you the latest updates in the free version of ChatGPT. And you'll see that you can now talk to ChatGPT and you can do it in multiple languages. I've tried it in Polish, in French and Spanish, and English, of course. You not only can do that then, but ChatGPT will actually write out the script of the whole of the conversation that you've had. You can then review that script. You can ask ChatGPT to give you feedback on any mistakes you've made. You can even replay what ChatGPT said to you so that you can check it if there's something you didn't understand. You can quickly check vocabulary from ChatGPT into Google Translate. And there's a wonderful trick that you can use to actually allow you to watch a video on YouTube, learn it, get familiar with it, put the script into ChatGPT and get ChatGPT to interview you on that script to see how much you've understood, which I find really, really useful. Really hope you like the video, and if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, most importantly, I'd love to have many more of you that watch the videos actually subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So if you don't have a ChatGPT account, you need to go to OpenAI and create an account for yourself. Now notice that I am using the free tool. I'm not upgrading or anything, just using the free tool. And the magic button that you want to click on is this one here, use voice mode. And then you're going to see that you can actually talk to ChatGPT. Now I'm going to click on this button here. And the first example I'll do in English. So I'm just going to click on this button and we will need to connect our microphones. ChatGPT, can we practice my English? Of course, I'd love to help you practice your English. What would you like to talk about today? Can you ask me some questions about my typical day, but can you keep the level quite simple because I don't speak very well? Just ask some questions to find out about what I do in my typical day. Sure. Let's start. What time do you usually wake up in the morning? I try to get... So when you want to stop the conversation, click here to end the conversation. And look at this. This is absolutely amazing. I want to just show you now what happens. It actually keeps a record of everything you were saying. That is so useful. So I carried on the conversation a little bit longer. But this is so useful. And there are so many things now that we can do with the dialogue that's been generated from our discussion. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit more genuine by switching over now and speaking to ChatGPT in Spanish. And that will mean I'll make some mistakes. And then we can get ChatGPT to help me to correct my mistakes and to learn where I've made mistakes. So it'll be a more genuine experience than me speaking in English, which is obviously my native language. Just one thing, lots of people keep asking me, how do I make my videos? Well, actually I do have another channel. It's called Screencast Guru. And that whole channel is about how I make my videos using a technology called Camtasia, how I built up my YouTube channel, etc. And if you wanna learn more, go and click on the channel now obviously all the videos are completely free subscribe to that channel and you'll learn about how I built up my educational channel using Camtasia we're going to carry on now by looking at ChatGPT and get him feedback and we're going to switch over to Spanish I've already done lots of conversations in Spanish and what I'm going to suggest first of all click on new chat and don't forget you click on this button here now it, it can speak Spanish okay and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button here and a good thing to do though is to tell ChatGPT what your level is, okay? And to tell it what you wanna have a conversation about. And I'll do that in English, and then we'll switch into Spanish. So I'm gonna click on this button here. ChatGPT, I'd like to have a conversation in Spanish. I'd like to practice my Spanish, but my Spanish isn't that good. It's about a pre-intermediate level, like an A2, B1 level of Spanish. Is it possible for us to have a conversation and maybe we could have a conversation about life in Spain and how it might be different from, say, life in America. Is that possible? Claro que sí. Podemos hablar en español. ¿Te gustaría empezar hablando de la vida en España? Por ejemplo, ¿qué te interesa saber sobre la cultura o las costumbres españolas? <laughs> Y 
Now that worked really well. The only thing is I did have to tell ChatGPT on one occasion to slow down because it was speaking too quickly. And actually in a minute, I'm gonna show you a brilliant trick that you can use to control the level in a more effective way. If you want more free videos, don't forget to come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. All the videos are free. You'll find loads of the YouTube videos that I put on my YouTube channel on teachertrainingvideos.com. There's a special section for language learners. And if you're a teacher, you might be interested in signing up to the newsletter because at the moment, as part of the newsletter, there is a free 14 part course where I highlight some of the key technologies that language teachers are using uh, in in their teaching and learning. And nearly everything that I suggest is free. Right, let's move on now and I'm gonna show you some really clever tricks that you can do with ChatGPT. So all I wrote was, can you look at the conversation? Did I make any mistakes? Can you highlight them? And here are some of the mistakes that I've made. And it's even in, given me improved suggestions, okay? and just a few tweaks that I could make. Okay, so that's one obvious thing that you can do. Now I wanna show you some more obvious things that you can do. Now another super useful feature is this. Let's go back over the conversation. Let's imagine that I didn't understand what was said to me here. I can click and listen to it again. This is super useful. Claro, no te preocupes. En España, para el desayuno, la gente come pan tostado con tomate y aceite de oliva. Okay, now let's imagine that I, I wasn't quite sure of that. What I could easily do is copy it. Now, I actually find it easier to select the text and copy. You can click on this button here, but it seems to be better if you just copy it like that, then come over to say, for example, Google Translate, and I'm gonna paste in the word, the phrase. Uh, remember, I've got it set to Spanish, and now I want the translation into English. And remember, if you wanna change the language, so Google Translate, if you don't know about it, is a, an app that you've been given on your Google account, and click on that, go to Google Translate, just paste in the text, and there it is, you've got the translation. Now, there's a brilliant trick that you can do in Google Translate, you can click on this button here, and it saves that phrase for you. Now, where are all your saved phrases? Well, they're here. And so you can come here and in fact, what you can do is click on the button here. Claro, no te preocupes. And actually play it back and you'll see all the phrases. Now I use this all the time to help me, but obviously the language that I'm normally studying is Polish. So Polish, which is the language I'm currently studying, that's a great way of saving any phrases that you want to learn. One of the most popular videos I've ever made is exactly on how Google Translate works and how the magic button in Google Translate works. I think the video's had 100,000 plays and if you wanna watch that, it's on the screen now and I can really recommend that video. So this is so useful that you can kind of review the conversation and either, you know, listen to it again or select words that you wanna check the meaning of. Now in a minute, I'm gonna take this whole idea to another level. I'm gonna actually show you how ChatGPT can be linked with YouTube, and that way you can watch a YouTube video and then talk about that. And that's a much better way of working because you've got something to talk about and also something to prepare in terms of the language and the vocabulary. Okay, so I'm on uh, YouTube. I'm gonna do a paste in Intermediate Spanish stories, okay, and obviously you could do this in multiple languages. I'm gonna do an example in Spanish. And then there is a really important button I want you to click on. I want you to come over here in the filters and I want you to click on subtitles. And that means that we're gonna have all videos that have got subtitles. Now we've got various stories here. Um, I'll, I'll choose this one here, I'll just choose the first one. I'm gonna click on that story. Yeah. And the one thing you'll need to do is come underneath the story click on the more button and you'll notice that if you come down it says transcript now click on that show transcript and the transcript will come up on the right hand side now you might find that you've got the timestamps for the transcript and you don't really want those so turn those off you can click here just toggle off and all i want you to do is to copy that okay now just copy that and then come over to chat gpt paste that dialogue in now click on this button and it is very likely to kind of analyze the dialogue first, okay? It kind of gives you a summary and it often 
gives you a list of vocabulary and it kind of does that automatically and I kind of quite like this okay so it's telling me possibly possible activities it's giving me a, a, a summary of it it's giving me all sorts of things okay that could be quite useful to me okay so you do have to put up with doing that first but now watch this once it's done that okay I'm gonna click on this bit in here I'm gonna come back to the conversation chat G, chat GPT could you ask me some questions about the dialogue that I've just uploaded, but could you just do it question by question? So you ask a question, I answer, you ask another question, I answer, and just check that I've understood the dialogue. Claro, empecemos. Aquí va la primera pregunta. ¿Quién le pidió a su vecina que cuidara la casa? Bueno, creo que era la mujer, su vecina, que yo necesitaba una ayuda por, porque creo que iba de vacaciones. Recently, I've had quite a few of you asking me about how I learned to speak all these languages. And the interesting thing is, I was an absolute disaster at learning languages at school. I never did any language qualifications at all. And it was really because I became an English teacher and then I did some higher qualifications in teaching and became really interested in learning languages. And then later, I took quite a lot of interest in technology, hence the reason I'm an educational technologist in language learning. I've made a course, uh, the course has got six levels, so six units, and each unit deals with a different area. One of them deals with YouTube, one of them deals with vocabulary, one of them deals with reading, one of them deals with listening, etc. One of them deals with speaking. Each unit costs $12. Each unit lasts about 30 minutes. Now, if you're interested in the course, I've put a video below in a link below that you can watch and get a little bit more information about the course. And then there's a second link where you can actually buy the units. So you can click onto the shop and you can buy the units. Now, the way it works is you would need to create an account in Patreon. That's the video player where I have the video. So you have to just create an account pay for the units that you want, and then you'll find that when you log into your account, you've got access to those videos from those units. It's that simple. It's super, super practical. I literally show you everything I do, and I show you lots of AI technologies that are free and that you can use, and you'll see me in action speaking various languages and using these technologies. I'm showing some great videos on the screen here now that you might want to watch, particularly the playlists that I've created, one for students and one for teachers. Thank you very much.